I'm going to show you how I maintenance a lock at a condo. First thing I'm going to do is change change the batteries. So I'll take out that top top screw. Just take double A batteries and I'll go ahead and buy the best I can get. Side that's got a spring and a side that's positive, it's got a little lead, and they get go back and forth. So. That's how I pry down against the spring. This last one's always hardest. So it's auto focus on this phone, just a little hanky here. Making sure to observe the polarity. Spring, spring gets the flat side of the battery, which is the negative side. The non-spring side gets the positive side. See, it's got like a little hump versus the flat side. The flat side goes toward the spring. Push it down. It does a little. Beep, letting you know that it's good. Let's see, okay, there's a little. See how that spins around right there? So you can make sure you get that lined up with the little bar. It's kind of hard to do, to be honest, with holding my phone. See how it's flush at the bottom and at the top. I'm gonna take a screwdriver. I'm going to show you guys how to put in a user code. So, it's got a master code, which is eight digits long. I'm not going to show you what that is. And I'm just going to put in a dummy code of, uh, of uh, 3333. I set the digits on this to be a four-digit code. Time and date's already been set inside of it and all that. So, um, I'll, I'll just do that, but I'm not going to show you the master code. Uh, but the default for these particular locks, I think, is uh, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I think is what the default is on it. That's not what it is now. I've changed it. So, just for security's sake, I'm not going to show that being put in there. But to get into programming, you put pound and your master code followed by pound to program a user code you would hit uh, 100 pound and then um, there's individual um, user uh, individual user ID slots so there's up to 99 spaces uh, on this particular lock right here this is a this is an Eplex 1500 series box. That's the Eplex 1500 series. So, so you can do up to 99 different codes um, on here. Um, so this particular customer puts in, I think it's 24, and then uh, two for the cleaning people. So you can have two different cleaning crews coming here. And he's got two different locations, so I come down and do both of them once a year. So, like I said, I'm not going to show you the master code, but you would hit pound, 
the eight digit master code then pound I'll show you the rest of it though so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it down here while I do it hear that good beep okay so then we go 100 followed by pound that, that lets us get into user code programming we're gonna go to space number one zero zero one pound let's say we'll make it all three so it's going to be four threes pound three 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 pound and you hear that little tit tit that means it took so we're just going to wait for the thing to time out so if you get that little red light that means you did something wrong I'll show you what the little red light looks like here if you, see, you hear that, it means you did something wrong or the system is timed out. So now we're going to see if that code works. It works. So that's as if we were leaving. So then we're going to try getting into the building. And as you can see, we can get in now with that code. So that's, like I said, that was a dummy code. I'm fixing to delete over it. Uh, the only difference as you were going through there is, so you'd have uh, 001 would be location number one, and I've got, say, 333 in there. Let's say you wanted your second code uh, after you did that one, location number one, 001, you made it 3333. If you wanted uh, 3334 to be one of your codes, I wouldn't recommend going in order like that, do some randomness. But let's say you wanted uh, location number two to be 334, you would go, uh, so you wouldn't have to put in the master code again as long as you're still in program. As long as you haven't seen that little red light, you can just go uh, 100 pound again. That says, okay, I want to program a user. And then after you do that, you put in there um, uh, the location, which would be 002, so it would be the second code that you want to do. And then you do uh, three, three, four pound, three, three, four pound, and you'll hear that. Did did it? When you hear that, then like if you want to go on to the next one, you would do one zero zero, meaning user programming pound, and then you'd go location number three zero zero three pound, and then you just keep on going all the way up to ninety nine, so zero nine nine be the highest that you could go so um that's that i figured i would uh share this with you guys i don't know if any of you have had to do this but this has become more and more common all right thank you and have a great afternoon and it's christmas almost christmas time here so merry christmas if this is after christmas then i uh, hope you have a wonderful day and remember like and subscribe